let's talk about a story in which three middle school boys were accused of sexual harassment for using the allegedly wrong pronouns. So again, we're talking about middle school boys, so between the ages of 11 and 13. This took place in Keele, Wisconsin school district. So to be clear, when I say the wrong pronouns, I don't actually mean that. They use the biologically correct pronouns to refer to a girl who had previously said that she wanted to be referred to by the they them pronouns, which is ridiculous because those are plural and she's a singular individual. But regardless, that's what happened. And then these three different boys were charged with sexual harassment by the school. The school district issued a statement saying they prohibit all different forms of harassment and bullying, but this wasn't any of those things. It's not harassment or bullying to be honest, to tell the truth, to speak and say what you mean. It's accurate speech that's both protected by the First Amendment, but also that happens to be offensive to one person. And such is the nature of the truth. It offends the people who want to live a lie. That's the way that it works. I'm sorry, but we have to speak the truth, otherwise we'll end up with an entire society grounded on lies, which, by the way, is kind of what we're living. The school board decided that rather than deal with the fact that they were receiving some heat from various different parents and citizens in their communities, that they would instead move this meeting online so they didn't have to look at those people face to face and actually listen to them. So they moved their, their school board meeting online. And by the way, while it said that they had received some hateful messages, police said there have been no credible threats. So they just moved this meeting online for the specific purpose that they don't want to listen to people. In fact, when they tweeted about how the meeting was going to be online, they hid replies. You're not allowed to reply to them because they don't want to listen to you that way either, even though that's online. It's not really about threats, it's about the fact they don't want to hear what the citizens have to say. And by the way, when they did actually cover this meeting and did so virtually, in other words, online, they didn't cover the topic at all. They just dodged the entire topic of the fact that they just labeled three 11 to 13 year old boys as like sexual harassers, which implies that they, you know, groped someone or attempted to rape or, or something like that, or at the very least made, you know, sexual comments at a girl, none of which took place. And then they're just going to kind of try and push this under the rug, but they haven't actually let it go. Instead, the Wisconsin, sorry, the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty is defending these three boys, thank goodness. But even if the cases get dropped, even if this school board decides that it's not really worth dealing with this. Think of the damage that they just did to three, you know, developing boys and to the other students who have been paying attention to this, who, who realize just how much pressure these boys have been under for saying something as simple as she. Because that's what we're talking about. And apparently the girl was particularly aggressive and was bullying other boys. But anyway, none of that matters. So what's really going on here though is, if you think about it, it's the school district itself that's issuing the threats. They're issuing the threats against these boys and against any others who might, like them, be willing to speak the truth, be willing to actually use proper pronouns in the English language to refer to a girl as a she. That's what it's about. It's about bullying them into compliance. At the same time that our schools, and I'm sure this particular school system in particular as well, are teaching about gender identity and so on, and really promoting this onto kids who should not be indoctrinated by the state, but that's what's been happening. The entire school board should be replaced. This school system needs an overhaul. All these people should be fired. They surrendered the truth, and in so doing, they demonstrated that they have no business in education or in dealing with children whatsoever. All right, I do want to thank uh, Frank from the Let's Be Frank show for giving me a tip on this story. I do think it needs more exposure. If, by the way, you come across different stories you think I ought to be covering, feel free to drop me an email. I do have a website. I do actually receive the messages that go through the contact page. I don't have any handlers, so that's always an option for you. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.